Hey book creators, this is your teacher dashboard and these are your libraries. You can think of your libraries as your classrooms. All teachers have this one library called My Books, which is private just to them. You can think of this as your filing cabinet. Your other libraries are where you're able to add students. If you're on a free account, you'll have just one library with a limit of 40 books. But if you're on a premium account, you can have unlimited libraries with a total of a thousand books. To create a new library, simply click the Create a New Library button in the top right corner. Give your library a name and then decide on the settings for your library. You'll want to think about the age of your students as you do this. You can determine if they can search for images, yes, limited or no. If they can edit their books, this is great for managing your classroom. Maybe you only want them to work on it when they're in their room and not at home. If you want them to turn, stop working when they get home, you can turn that off. Then you want to decide if they can create multiple books. I might recommend one or two so you don't come back to a library that had a very enthusiastic student who went home and made multiple books. You can then decide if you want them to read each other's books. I like to turn this off while students are working and then turn this on when they're done for a gallery walk. You can determine if students can initiate collaboration. If you have this off, you will always still be able to initiate collaboration for your students. The next one is publishing their books online. This is where you'll definitely want to think about their age and how people would access these books. Then you can decide if students can comment on their books or not, each other's books, and if they can use spell check. You'll also want to determine if they can turn on translation and if they want to be able to move their own books to their portfolios if your district or school has that feature, and if you want speech to text for accessibility turned on. And then once you've decided all of your settings, you can click Create Library. You'll then see your new library here. You can determine if you want to start from a new book from scratch, a template book, or one of our books from Discover. And to add students, you click Add Students to Library, and you can provide them this code or copy this link and put it in your LMS. Once students join the library, you'll be able to see their names and their books under the Author tab.